The plans for building these borax wagons was in about the ninth or 10th year before the Death Valley Conservancy contacted me with the possibility of see if I could help them out. Well, in part of that planning process, they had accumulated a fair bit of red oak in three and four inch thick. And in the meantime, Bobby Tanner had been storing this down in the Owens Valley Desert around Bishop, California, so it was good and dry material. But the problem was, in the desert, this had dried a little too fast and caused a lot of internal checking and cracking. So for the big borax wagons, a lot of this wood was unusable, so I had set it aside. I also had a little 4 inch red oak that was left over remnants from building the fellows for the big wheels. So I had some odds and ends around that I could sort through. And this water wagon is just enough smaller that it allowed me to go back through, resort, and see if I could find enough material to make the spokes for the wheels. And it happened to be that I had just enough. So even though I'm not ready to start building wheels yet, I'm going to go ahead and get these spokes made so that when that time comes, they're ready to go.
On the bottom side of the front axle of each of the wagons is this heavy plate that the mules hook to and also hitches the wagons one to another. So this is the plate that I'm going to make next.
Well, I'm sure you've heard the saying or asked the question, how do you eat an elephant? Well, it seems pretty enormous, but the way to do it is just one bite at a time. And that's kind of what we're doing here. We're just doing one piece at a time. So appreciate you following through. Appreciate you watching.